Hi everybody, in this video I'll be starting with physics in which I'll be giving you tips and strategy for the same. And the first point is cover important topics. Gradually we'll be moving on to a two day study plan for revising the whole physics. Uh, so yes, cover the important topics first. You can see that uh, ray diagrams in total internal reflection the critical angle diagrams, prism and lens, and the theory regarding critical angle. You should be aware about IC, right? And uh, questions on total internal reflection are asked, even the diagrams. Second is theory and application in resonance. This is the favorite question of ICSC board. They usually ask the reasoning questions related to this. So you can practice this as well. Then we come to theory and numericals in calorimetry. You should know about the specific uh, heat capacity, the heat capacity and its difference. Plus the numericals are very important, right? Yes, it is written numericals. Make sure that you uh, write the correct unit. Then radioactivity. So in radioactivity, you have seen they will give you uh, X and uh, for example, this is 240 and this is uh, 80. So they'll ask you what will be the result of A? What will be the result of C? These are the questions that are usually asked. Then theory in electricity, mainly the laws, fuse, color codings, various definitions and Ohm's law is also asked, even the graph. Then questions on series, parallel circuits, you have to practice them. Numericals in chapters, force, work and machine, derivations of some of these chapters. So derivations are not asked, but you can just have a look at the definition. Okay. So your target for two days should be like this. First day you will be revising all the chapters, one chapter, one hour target. But for chapters which are lengthy like reflection, uh, you should allot around 1 hour 30 minute or 2 hour time, right? Then you will move on to the PYQs. After revising your notes, you will move on to the PYQs. For example, you have started with reflection. Cover all the topics, all your notes and then move to the PYQs and relate what has been asked. The second day will be practicing the PYQs solving full length papers. So there are many websites in which sample question papers or physics have been uploaded, right? You can have a look at that. Plus you can also refer to my ebook, which is physics MIQs. So this is the website you have to visit. Link is in the description box. Ebooks for class 10th are available here, be it chemistry, full syllabus reactions, or physics MIQs. So, this is the ebook I am telling you about. This has all the important questions covered. You can buy it from the link in the description box. Then we move on to the formula based numericals. You can refer to the PYQs, and they will not ask you difficult questions related to any chapter. Formula based questions are asked in ICSC board and uh, you should also remember to write the unit as well. Sometimes they may give you questions in which you have to convert the values first. For example, they have given in meter and this is in uh, millisecond. So you'll have to convert this in second first. So uh, please pay attention to all of this. Talking about your definitions, please insert keywords in your definitions because that is uh, what the examiner looks for. And please underline the keywords also. The units should be correct, as I told you. Graphs, questions are also asked. So you have to label the x-axis and the y-axis. That is very important, otherwise marks will be deducted. One mark will be deducted if you do not label the axis, right? And you can attempt extra question example you scored full in this full in one three four five so they'll be considering these four and awarding you marks on the basis of these four questions right 
and whenever you are writing your answers or definitions please do not exaggerate it sometimes it happens that you know uh, superfluous information and you just put it in you don't have time for that be limited to the answer all the best for your exam